My name is Greg Manninger. I'm a sprayer service tech at Platte Valley Equipment in Fremont, and we are going to be rinsing and winterizing a Hagee today. So there's a kind of a step-by-step -step process, just like any other sort of winterization. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to drain all the product from the tank, any residuals. Uh, and then we're going to pull our strainers and we're going to clean our strainers out, put it all back together. And then we're going to pump uh, anywhere from 50 to 100 gallons of water into uh, into the main tank. Unlike a John Deere, uh, you can tank rinse and you can do all your other rinsing with the water from the main tank. Um, so we don't need to put it in the rinse tank and then move it to the main tank. Um, and then we're going to spray it out, blow everything out. Then we're going to air purge to get the remnants of all the water out and we're done with that. And then we're going to go and we're going to fill it up with the uh, winterization fluid and we're going to put that into the rinse tank and then from the rinse tank we'll bring it down into the main tank and then we'll do all our rinsing from there bump our agitation way up make sure it gets all the way through there and then we're going to spray it out the booms make sure we get a nice pink color out of every nozzle and then we're going to air purge one more time and then that should take care of everything we've already drained out and we've put our fresh water back into the tank we cleaned our strainers and we're going to dump our erase just straight into the main tank. And we've also got a little bit of an anti-foaming agent because this erase, this tank neutralizer, likes to foam up quite a bit and we want to get everything out of there. So now that we've got everything, we've got it all in the main tank, we have our console switches over here. We're going to open our main tank. We're going to turn our solution pump on. We're going to hit this manual button, so this gives us manual control over the solution pump. The other button for enable would be when we have our John Deere display in here, and the John Deere will take care of everything. So we're going to run it manually, and then we're going to hit the plus button, and that'll take it up in increments of 5%. So we do want to make sure that we've got our agitation open up, because we want to rinse everything out. Yeah. When we do that, we'll toggle this switch up here. This will enable the rinse, the tank rinse, and as you can see, it's just going to recirculate everything back into, back into the tank. So now that it's all rinsed, we'll turn our rinse off. We'll go ahead and we'll shut our agitation off, and we will just spray out. Now that we're empty, we'll just go ahead and shut everything off. and we will go down below and drain the rest of the water out. So Hagee's have a hand wash tank that's right here under the ladder. And this one's already been drained, so there's a quarter turn valve. You wanna make sure you get all the, the water out of that. And then we'll wanna make sure that we put some RV in there to, to uh, winterize that when the time comes. This machine is equipped with a front fill and a side fill. So we'll go ahead and open both of our valves, our rinse. This is our rinse water valve. And our main tank valve, just to drain the remnants out. And we'll come over to our side fill. Open our valves on our side fill. And then these side fill pumps have a plug in them which will let you drain everything out. And that's important because on these Hagees, there's a check valve that's under the tank that won't let anything back through here. So when we go to winterize the system, there's several different ways you can winterize it. And if you go through the rinse tank like we do, uh, then the RV is not gonna get it back into, not gonna come back through the side fill. So we will need to pump a few gallons through the side fill when the time comes. So we want to make sure that we pull all our water out first. And then the last thing is they have a drain valve right under the, on the bottom of the tank. And that'll get the last little bits out of the sump of the tank. Button this back up. get our RV. Our 
All right, so now that we've got our RV in the rinse tank, now on your console switches where before when we, when we rinsed out, we used forward for the, for the tank, we're gonna toggle it backwards and that will open up our rinse valve. And according to this, what that does is it's gonna send it straight to the boom. So all we really need to do in that position is to open, turn on our pump, turn on manual, ramp it up a little bit until we get some pressure out on the boom. And then we, like we do now, and now we know our tank rinse system is full of RV. So from there, we can open up our agitation. Now our agitation is gonna eventually start bringing everything into the main tank through the plumbing. But if we so choose, we can just go ahead and start spraying out section by section. And now what we'll do, the boom off, we will toggle forward our tank rinse. We'll recirculate everything through the rinse, the tank side. And then we'll open our main tank. And then we'll shut that back off. These Hagees have a pressure spike valve in the solution pump. And they're rated for about 100 PSI. So we want to make sure that we at least get our system open to about 100 PSI. So it opens that spike valve. Now we can go ahead and close off our agitation. And we'll spray the rest out one section at a time. And that is all our antifreeze. Good practice to leave the agitation open when you're done winterizing. And you can always cycle your valves one more time just to make sure that RV gets behind the balls in the valve. When that's all done, you can go ahead and just run a quick, run a quick air purge. Well, thanks for watching. If you have any questions about winterizing your Hagee sprayer, or if you'd like to have me come out and take care of it for you, give your local Platte Valley dealership a call. Thanks.